They say, if you truly want to know yourself, look at your five closest friends. Because you're a reflection of the people you spend most of your time with. Whether you like it or not, like them or not, friends can do two things. Either push us forward or pull us back. Because you see, as a young basketball player, I never really felt the need to learn how to jump. Until all of my friends started to dunk. And as a young student, I only really started to get in trouble in class when all of my friends started to flunk. Think about it. When you got your results, who were the first people you asked? So how did you do in English, Maths and Art? And you know that we always assumed our grades were okay, as long as we got more A's than our mates. But when it came to getting into college, did all of you guys get accepted into the same place? You see, that's why I say it's important to have friends with benefits. Because if they don't add to your life, then they subtract from it. And if they don't do nothing at all, that's just as bad. Because breaking even isn't an exact profit. Listen, as humans, we look at our surroundings and learn to adapt to it. So if you surround yourself with bums, what do you expect will be the outcome? You end up full of shit. Because life is too short to live for other people's ideas and that's the harsh reality. And whenever I use the term friend, I add air quotes. Because apparently I have 30,000 friends on Facebook, 200,000 on YouTube, 33,000 on Twitter. But when things hit the fan, all they ever did was like my picture. So wait, am I implying, contrary to popular belief, that you should only be friends with people that can help you? Yes, I am. People that respect your identity and decisions you choose to make indefinitely. People that can help you grow. Because true friends are people that benefit you emotionally, spiritually, mentally and regularly. Not a friend that causes you no fun. Just because you believe to enjoy yourself, you don't always need to get drunk. Not one that has sex and laughs at your virginity because you believe in integrity. Not a friend that smokes, that makes you the butt of the joke when you're opposed to conforming. Although they know you're an athlete and understand how it affects your performance. Not a friend that puts you down 9 out of 10 times whenever you're in a crowd, but then becomes your best buddy when no one else is around. That's not a true friend. But at the same time, remember, one hand washes the other before they can both wash the face. So before you can expect good friends, you have to learn to be one yourself. And that involves having morals that you stand by and stick to. Because as Malcolm X said, a man that stands for nothing will fall for anything. So there's nothing wrong with having friends with benefits. So ultimately, both of you can find ways to benefit each other. Peace.